she was this big star and we all loved it and, and, and admired her but behind the scenes was a tormented life and God saved her redeemed her from that more than someone who is a Christian celebrity used to be in all this she is a woman of God who has been walking in a strong mandate and an anointing for the last 18 15 years I want her to take her liberty Denise Matthew you. we thank are you, so Jesus. proud of what Jesus oh, is doing you. in her life I'm so excited oh hallelujah <laughs> you know I've got so much joy in my life and you know I really wanted to impress because Pastor Juan when he talked about it's all about the joy and you know I have been through everything that you could possibly imagine I have been abused as a child you read that in my book but where it all began when I first got saved because I, I went through drugs the whole Oh, I was a mess. Mm. I, I was deeply wounded in my spirit, and I was all flesh. Vanity, well, and that's why I say blame it on vanity, because that's all about the flesh, and that's who I was. And I wanted so, you know, I was so miserable the entire time that I was vanity. I spent so many days and so many nights crying, hating who I'd become. And I, I knew I needed to get out but you don't know how to get mm. out because it just that the world sucks you in doesn't mm. it? it just sucks mm. you in and it tempts you and there's every temptation and if nobody comes to you and tell I tell everybody about Jesus mm. I mean that like David said King David said I've set the Lord always before me mm. and because he's at my right hand I cannot be moved if I'm in the grocery store you're going you say hello I say oh thank you that's that to me is an, a total in to talk <laughs> to you about Jesus you just say hello to me that's yeah. all that it takes amen yeah. And I get it so excited. The reason I have joy today is I have been through some serious sufferings. When I first came to the Lord, I had 200, you know, and I didn't first obey him, okay? I was going in and out, and I remember my pastor, because I was like about a year in the Lord, but I really, I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I had everything, but I was not sanctified, like the pastor was, was saying, and God, he just blew me away. Didn't he blow you yeah. away? I, I have just, oh, I know I have a lot of sure fire today. Come on. And I spread it because, you know, it's like lighting a match. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they say, you light a match. You are that fire for God. And the reason that I have joy is because I've been through such incredible sufferings to learn, to, to understand that you can't do this or that. You know, I've been um, almost 13 years old, I mean, 13 years a virgin in Christ. And I've been 18 years um, without addiction. Amen. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> you got to save yourself. You know, if you're single out there, you got to save yourself for the Lord because there, there is nothing like it. You can actually get to a place. Now, let me tell you something. Because I've been on the other side, and, and, and especially when you know doing the dirty work, right? Yeah. And then they want, you know, when I first came to Jesus, I was like, oh my God, what do you guys do for fun in here? I, <laughs> I just didn't get it. But, you know, I got um, filled with the Holy Ghost and, you know, I knew things were going to change for me and I spoke in about eight different languages and so that's for every one of us. To whomsoever believes, yeah. God wants to do this. He wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost and you will speak in tongues yes. and you will magnify God and you will lift him up and you will be lifted up and he will take you through all that mess that you got in your life and he will straighten every single thing out a little bit at a time, yeah. a little bit at a time. He's yeah. going to keep going until you are perfect before him. And I'm yeah. saying you will be perfect in your forgiveness perfect in your love the reason that i have so much i keep saying the joy of the lord the joy of the mm -hmm. lord is my strength isn't that what it's all about right you see when we can walk into a room and we light up amen cannot god work with that that's right and the only way to get there is that that we be we go through our sufferings and we stop trying to hide from the sufferings and get mad at god because you know how we do he said everything is yeah. everything works together for yeah, your good that's right, right. Yeah. I remember the days I used to say, Lord God, I, I don't see the good. I just do not see the good. On, and I would get so anxious and so, oh, and so, but I never wanted to stop hearing from God. I was so frightened not to hear from Stay him. There. I think the greatest gift that you can be given is that you have a hearing ear so that you can do. Not just stop at the hearing, but do it. Mm. So I went through sufferings. When I first came to the Lord, I had 250 high blood pressure over 190. I lost both of my kidneys. I stand before you Jeez. with no kidneys, but believe, I feel like I have four kidneys, eight kidneys in my body. Who has seen the kidneys in my body? And yeah. I'm not even asking anybody. I 
I'm not asking. I'm not begging for anybody's kidney. I don't want anybody's kidney. I want Jesus to do a miraculous yeah. move on my body, yeah. and I will wait till He does it, and He will do it because He's promised yes. me. He's given me dreams. You want to know what's in your future? Ask God for a dream, because like Job said, dreams happen so that we know, because we don't hear from God all the time in the, you know, when we're in our flesh. But you know something? He gives me such joy because I have been through such sufferings. Yeah. With, um, I, I was completely blind. I can see. I was completely deaf. I can hear. He's wow. given me one good eye and one good ear. And I feel like when I had, uh, when I had both eyes, I could not see anything. Come on. I certainly couldn't see Jesus. But now I got, both, I got one ear and one, one <laughs> ear and one eye. And I see better in the spirit than I've ever seen in my life. And you know what? Yeah. Jesus. Because when we suffer, when we go through our suffering, because suffering brings upon obedience, and you must have obedience. God wants us upright. When you're, the little foxes are destroying the vine, so we have to ask God, what are my little foxes? Show me. Show me what I don't see. He said, call unto, unto me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which mm. you do not know. We have to find out what is, yeah, sh good. show me what I don't know that's about good. me. Show me what I don't, ask for prophecy, to prophesy to people. You want to talk to people? Believe Jesus. Amen. Suffer. Allow yourself to go through the sufferings instead of trying to trip back and say, okay, maybe, you know, yeah. this is the way. Stand you in the way and see and ask, where's the good path? Yes. Where's the good way? Yes. And follow therein, and yes. you shall find rest for your souls. Yes. God wants us to rest in Him. It's already been done. You don't have to worry about, listen, when you are in that suffering, you go through, God just took me through another fire. I had eight different surgeries and they said you will not live past the first one you are going to die absolutely there's no doubt about it you need to bring in your pastors and have them pray over you and you just settle the things in your will and I said but I already pray and God said I shall live and not die <laughs> God has work to do in me and all that I know and all that I breathe everything I everything I do is all about Jesus I, I've got mm. such passion for him. Mm. I love him so much. Mm. He is my husband. And that's okay. Some of them, ah, you need to be married. No. I need to be married to God. If God wants to marry him, well, I'm not really there. <laughs> it's all about Jesus. Yeah. Honestly, people, I would love to be in heaven right now. But I know I've got people to say, yes, I yes. saved. And, and just like David, I have to, you have to do your time. Amen? You have, there is no better place than to be in heaven. Okay? You didn't know who you, when, when you were coming to this, you didn't know you were coming here. Thank mm. you, Jesus. But you came, and God loves every single yes. one of us. He loves us so much. Like We are his children, and he, not only, he loves the sinners just as much as he, he loves the whole world. For God so loved the whole world. Yeah. Amen? Amen. The whole world. Amen. He's passionate That's about right. you. He wants you fixed. He wants, yeah. because you know that there's no fornicating in heaven, okay? Yeah. You know there's no lying. Whosoever believeth and maketh a lie, amen, he that overcometh shall inherit the kingdom of God. I'll be his God, he'll be my son, but the fearful, the abominable, the whoremongers, the idolaters, they shall not, they shall be in the lake of fire, which burns with fire and brimstone day and night. Come on, who wants to feel that? Listen, go to your fire, turn it up, put your hand on there. Let's see how long you last. Till, okay? <laughs> you don't want to go You don't want to go Thank you, Jesus. Mm. It's all about Jesus. Mm. Give your life to Jesus. Amen. Mm. Give your whole life. And just tell him, because when you begin to speak, Lord, I give you my whole life. I want to give you everything. And Lord, I want to mm. see those things that are missing in me. Mm. I desire to just do your will, your perfect yes. will. Lord, I desire to do the perfect bullseye. When I throw that dart, I want it to land right in the middle of your will, Lord God. Mm. It's not a about me. It was not, I found out, oh my God, it wasn't about vanity. Oh mm. my goodness. When I found out, oh, he tripped me up. He tripped me <laughs> up. And he has taught me through um, suffering, much suffering, and continuous suffering, high blood pressure, blood clots on the brain, bleeding internally, loss of kidneys. I had eight surgeries. That, I remember the prophet telling me, Denise, you just went through that, that first testimony eight, 18 years ago. She said, wait a minute, God says you're about to go through something greater. Mm. They put me in the hospital three and a half months. They didn't feed me for three and a half months. And they had me on morphine. When I walked up, I'm telling you, when I was in there, when I was in the hospital, I ministered. They were coming in my room. The nurses were saying, they're fighting to get in your room because they know you've got the words of God in your mouth. Mm. And they said they're gonna, that you're going to tell them about you.